YES stands for Youth Equity in Science. It's an initiative that uh, serves underprivileged students from community colleges. And we launched the initiative in 2022. Uh, we began outreach and um, developing a plan. And then in 2023, we um, hosted our first cohort of interns through the program. We engage with students not only in the Bay Area, but also um, across the state of California. So we engage with students down in San Luis Obispo, through Cuesta College, and also students in Butte County. The YES Initiative is designed to empower students from underrepresented and underprivileged communities by exposing them to careers in STEM. Um, and this is through uh, many different avenues, including um, work experience at the bench, um, work experience in the lab, and also mentorship from the scientists and faculty members and students at UCSF. QPI really gave me that opportunity um, to at least explore myself, right? explore if research is something that I'm interested in, but not just that, um, give me the opportunity to see that, hey, there's people like me and there's opportunities for us. And I think that is very powerful. Um, I think seeing presentation, like right, representation of your own people is powerful, right? You grow up, you see, okay, I see people like me becoming doctor, becoming researcher. Maybe I can do that too. I think that is one of the most important things growing up and seeing. When I came to the campus and being, and being told that I get to work with a lab with other students, I was kind of intimidated because a lot of it was unknown to me but at the same time excited because again, a lot of it was unknown to me. And being able to kind of come together and help each other out and be able to um, basically work on a project together kind of made me happy because you're not alone. And at the same time, there's so many interesting conversations happening at the same time because not everybody's the same person. Somebody's working on a different part of the project and be able to talk to them and understand their vocabulary and be able to ask questions about the whole project and um, being able to um, ask them for clarification and having them teach you most of the uh, vocabulary or being able to understand a topic that you previously didn't know kind of made me happy because I was actively learning at the same time because it wasn't something that, oh, I know you could do this. I just want you to rinse and repeat it over and over again like a uh, normal nine to five job. This was actually, oh, we're actively learning about something we don't know and be able to contribute to the conversation, which kind of made me happy about it. QBI plans to continue the program in 2024, and we are following the same model in terms of recruiting students across the state of California in underrepresented communities. Um, and this time, we plan to extend the internship length so uh, we hope that the students can stay longer than just um, you know, four to six weeks.